Tonight we are learning more about who could replace the state's top accountant after a three and a half billion dollar mistake. Richard Ekstrom has served in that role for more than 20 years. He announced his resignation last week after mounting pressure from lawmakers to resign. Our Taggart Halk joins us in studio with more on what happens next. Tag. And Nigel and Carol, an unusual situation here. For years, South Carolinians have elected the Controller General. Now the one who will finish out the remainder of Ekstrom's term will be chosen by lawmakers. The state should have recorded a reduction in its cash. Two names are being floated to replace Richard Ekstrom as Controller General, former Republican lawmaker Kirkman Finley and the Senate's former budget director Mike Sheely. Finley represented Richland County in the State House. He said in part, quote, My promise to you is to restore trust to this office. In fact, my first act in office will be to perform a complete audit of every aspect of the office, making the findings available to the public once the audit is complete. He has the support of many of his former colleagues in the House. He will get the job done. He'll ask the right questions. He will run a tight ship. He has a business background. He has a background here in the General Assembly on the Ways and Means Committee, so he knows how the budget works. He knows how it should work. Sheely has support from some in the Senate. Lawmakers will meet in joint session to vote on nominees. Ekstrom's replacement will need the majority of the House and Senate. That should happen within the next, next couple of weeks. There's been no date set yet to when the vote will occur. And there could be other candidates that will eventually be nominated here. Anyone in the House or Senate can do that. It may very well, though, be the last time that there is a vote for Controller General. Lawmakers are working to make the position one that would be appointed by the governor. And by the way, that is something that Governor Henry McMaster said he would support.